I have not seen many people like me in roles like this. Mm -hmm. The ban has been lifted. <laughs> <laughs> will you come visit me in London? I promise you will be well entertained. I need your assistance. There is a gentleman, Mr. Malcolm. He humiliated me. No. I mean, honestly, when Tamara and Emma came to me with the role, or like considered me for the role for the short, I was just like, hang on, you don't want me to carry a tray in the background? I would love for Mr. Malcolm to receive the comeuppance he deserves. Plus, it could be rather fun. Growing up in India, studying English literature, being in a classroom full of boys and girls who looked exactly like me, we all envisioned ourselves as these characters. Uh, when, I, when I was finally um, offered this role, it almost felt like my imagination earned me the right mm -hmm. to, to be part of this film. It feels like... I don't know, it feels like, yeah, the, the, the gears were already turning, but when you do have something that is such a juggernaut like Bridgerton, I think it just sort of coalesces everything mm, and then exactly. green lights start to go off on projects everywhere that yeah. were probably being, you know, held and um, the rest is hopefully history. Yeah, exactly, I totally agree. Most certainly have a reputation. Is that the famous Mr. Malcolm? Do you know him? And do you believe this description of me? I mean, he's a, you know, very handsome... Uh, devilishly handsome. Devilishly hunk of, of meat. <laughs> but also, he's very inaccessible, isn't he? Or yeah. inaccessible. He, uh, he's... Um, he, there's, he, he's not cold, but there's a certain aloofness to him, which is very intriguing. You're being blinded by his intelligent conversation and devastatingly handsome good looks. The emotionally unavailable man is just <laughs> like a, still kryptonite to the to still the men and women. Still frustrating. Still sexy. Still sexy.